up, it's been an absolutely fantastic week for new species discovery. First, the discovery of a new species of humpback dolphin was announced, found off the coast of Northern Australia. Then, sticking with Australia, a new species of skink, a new species of gecko, and a new species of frog were all announced, all found in an incredibly isolated area. It's been described as a lost world. So hopefully over the next few years we'll get some really exciting discoveries coming out of there. The WWF UK announced this week that 441 new species have been found in the Amazon rainforest in the last four years alone. And this is specifically plants and vertebrates. If we were to include insects in that number, it would increase drastically. About 10,000 new species of insects are discovered every single year in the Amazon rainforest. Now this is obviously hugely exciting, but it's also more than a little bit depressing when you think about exactly how much of the Amazon rainforest we're destroying every single year. That means we are destroying thousands of new species every single year that we haven't even discovered yet. Wow, that got a little bit depressing there, didn't it? Sorry. I'll tell you what, to cheer you up. Do you remember the Olingito that was announced a few months ago? It was the first new species of carnivora that was discovered in the Americas for more than 35 years. It was very, very exciting. Well, they released the first baby photographs this week and it's goddamn adorable. So, two absolutely fantastic videos were released this week by various different space agencies, and you should definitely go and check them out as soon as you've finished watching this video. The first video was captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. It was caught in September, and it's of a 322,000 kilometer long filament that erupted through the sun's atmosphere in September. I'm giving you a short clip here, but you should absolutely go and check the whole thing out. The links will be in the information section. It is amazing. Go and watch it. The other video you should definitely go and watch today, it was released by the European Space Agency. It's a 3D flyover video of Mars. It was constructed from images taken by the Mars Express and it's genuinely fantastic. Go and watch it now. Staying on the space theme, there have been some really, really interesting exoplanet discoveries announced this week. The first is two and a half thousand light years away and exists within its star's habitable zone at the bulge of the Milky Way. Due to its size, this exoplanet is very, very unlikely to harbor life. However, if it has moons, their conditions might be suitable. Another exoplanet announced this week is exciting for a very different reason. It's completely impossible. Kepler 78b is a lava world approximately the size of Earth. It orbits its host star once every eight and a half hours at a distance of less than a million miles. For comparison, Earth is about 93 million miles away from our sun. This is the tightest orbit of any exoplanet we've ever observed. And fascinatingly, it's completely impossible according to what we know of planetary formation. According to current theories, no planet could have formed that close to its star and it couldn't have drifted in that far either. Meaning our understanding of planetary formation has to be wrong. And finally, a seventh exoplanet was found in a system about two and a half thousand light years away. This is one of the most planet rich systems discovered so far. And interestingly, one of the identifications was made using Planet Hunter, a citizen science project that lets volunteers sift through data from NASA's Kepler mission. So if you feel like discovering an exoplanet yourself, head on over there and help them out. You never know, you might be part of the next great discovery. That's it from me this week. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week.